Liam Lawson is one of New Zealand's most exciting young athletes on the racetrack. Working his way up the ranks, he's already competing in the most elite racing on the planet, Formula One. Liam Lawson in his F1 debut gets past Charles Leclerc. As the reserve, Liam was called into the top seat after a lead Alpha Tori driver, Daniel Ricciardo, crashed in practice. Oh, the young Kiwi took the wheel for five races. Liam Lawson has knocked Max Verstappen out of qualifying. And while his last race in Qatar had its challenges, just made an error there. Liam's caught the attention of Red Bull team principal Christian Horner. He's done the right thing, he's grabbed that opportunity. And I said to him yesterday, you've done everything and more than you could have. Who's confident Liam's F1 journey is just beginning. Could he be one of the best New Zealand has ever seen? Well, joining us live from England, please welcome Liam Lawson. <laughs> cool to have you. What was it like when you got that call that you were going to be behind the wheel? Um, it was uh, it was very strange, honestly, um, because we, I mean, I've been reserved for a year and a half and I mean, a lot of drivers are reserved, but you, you basically spend so much time going to these races and you know that there's a very, very small possibility that maybe one day something will happen, but it's so, so rare um, that Eventually, you, you you basically just kind of feel like it's never going to happen, and, and you go to these races, but you you really don't expect to drive. So um, it definitely was, yeah, a really big surprise. And a dream come true, right? Like you were playing F1 video games when you were a kid. <laughs> yeah, I was. Um, I mean, last time I was on the project, I mean, this was years ago, but I was probably telling you guys how I wanted to. To be in Formula One, so um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. It's something obviously I've wanted to do my my whole life, but um, it's also not the circumstances I would have chosen to come into F1, not with somebody having an injury like that. Um, but the, you know, especially these days, it's so rare that you get an opportunity that um, yeah, we really had to take it. Yeah, don't worry, Daniel Ricciardo would take his chances as well, like you took your chance. <laughs> yeah. um, can I ask, is it a frustrating time to be a reserve driver, to be that close and yet still so far away? It, it, honestly, it is. You, you go to 22 um, of, of these race weekends in a year um, and you're basically as close as you can possibly be to the point where, you know, I get the itinerary before the weekend and it has the drivers listed in there. And uh, and my name's just next to theirs and, and you're you're literally listed as a driver, but you're not, not driving the car and you're watching 20 guys basically live your dream. Um, every weekend and you're right there it's it's honestly it's horrible yeah <laughs> how physically demanding is it driving one of these things it's it's tough it's just it's a source of very different um because cars i grew up driving especially in last year's like f2 was was very physical with no power steering but f1 is is just so fast um so much high g especially qatar I, i'm not sure if uh, if you guys saw some of the um the images and and the i guess um releases from Qatar but that was a wasn't meant to be that tough and ended up being like the craziest race in F1 for, for many years so um, yeah it's it can be really really physical look I've never been in one of these cars but um, do they have like cup holders and stuff <laughs> <laughs> No, we do. We do have a drinks tube, so we do oh, actually wow. get, um, which is for me a, 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 a new thing. I never had that before. So, to the point where I'm really not used to using it, um, and uh, and it's it's quite awkward. I had, I, I swear, the first time I used it in, uh, probably would have been Italy, probably the first time I used it, and I didn't cut the tube or anything. I just left it how it was in the helmet, and um, when I went to use it it got stuck, like it basically flicked up and got stuck in my nose. And I, and I had like three laps of driving. And I mean, I'm, my hands are on the wheel, right? So I can't do anything. I can't get this thing out of my nose. And I'm like stressing, like, oh my God, this is going to be, this is going to be like this for the rest of the race. I've got, got this drink tube stuck in there. And luckily we had a safety car um, like a couple laps later and I could get my hand up there and reach it out and, and I didn't drink for the rest of the race. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've done that driving a normal car. <laughs> <laughs> the glamorous, glamorous world of F1. Liam, we're so proud of everything that you're achieving. Thank you so much for chatting to us tonight. Thanks for having me. Thank you. What a great chat. Yeah. Last time he was on the project, he was celebrating his 17th birthday. Yeah. Still so young. 21 now. Uh, that is awesome.